With Recovery Act funding, the US EPA has managed over $7 billion in projects and programs promoting environmental protection and other infrastructure that provides long-term economic and public health benefits for local communities. Here in the Silver Valley area of Idaho, the Recovery Act has helped keep local people working while also making communities healthier and safer. We're really appreciative for it. And it really helped our economy. I mean, a lot of people say that the stimulus doesn't create any jobs, but I know it has. The area has a proud history of mining that has long been the economic backbone of local communities. Silver Valley had principally most all of the mining activity in it, mining and smelting, and the North Fork of the Coeur d'Alene River had large amounts of road building and timber harvest. The Central Shoshone County Water District received a $12.2 million loan through the DEQ State Revolving Fund to construct a 5 million gallon per day drinking water facility to replace the existing community well, which often flooded. Times are changing and uh, things have got to be upgraded. This is the last non-filtered surface influence public water system in Idaho. This system serves about 2,500 people. It goes from Osborne, Idaho, through Kellogg, through Wardner, down to Smellerville, Idaho. Growing up in the Silver Valley, I lived in Osborne, and I can remember my mom going to draw a bath for my sister and I, and the water would come out of the faucet brown, and there'd be little bits of leaves and twigs during high runoff times. Clean drinking water is a, is a basic amenity that most people in the United States just expect. When they turn the faucet on, they're going to have safe, clean drinking water. Well, the DEQ has found no confirmed cases of parasites, such as cryptosporidium, within Central Shoshone's water system, the department says the risk is growing in the northwest region and that the filtration plant is an important preventative measure. Had safety was the primary concern. Uh, you know, it wasn't a matter of, you know, recurring issues. It's a matter of when those issues are going to hit. The plant itself has been under construction now for about 18 months. We're probably nearing in the next couple months to start board, moving toward commissioning. Down in the far corner, the water comes in out of the floor on the right-hand side. Those two big red things are, are rough screens. From that, it goes to a holding tank underneath it. And then you can see where these pipes come out of the wall here. Behind each of these pipes is a is a separate little individual tank. And when the plant's done, they will be filled with fibers. And these fibers have such small holes in them that we can filter out about, I think, 99.9% .9 something of the bacteria. This is quite a deal here. This is the brain of the, the, of the operation right there. And everything is pretty well uh, clean in place, pumps. Uh, here's the membrane. Uh, membrane tank, electrical and water heaters. And the finished water goes out, had, we had chlorine for disinfection, and then we had a lime to stabilize the water back to a, a, new, a neutral pH. And then all, we pump out to the finished water system. Here in rural Idaho, Recovery Act funds produce jobs in communities that have been suffering from high unemployment for over 20 years from the loss of mining jobs. This recession is not new to us. We've been depressed here since 1980. Contractor jobs included laborers, heavy equipment operators, and truck drivers. Partnership with EPA and DEQ has been, been wonderful for the patrons of our district. They would have never been able to afford a project of this magnitude. The stimulus money really came at the right time to help us. The creation or retention of these jobs has helped dozens of local families to not only stay in their communities, but has also helped create a healthier and safer environment for everyone. Now seeing it come to, to fruition and uh, it's about ready to get started, I, I think we're pretty excited about uh, looking forward to keeping people safe forever.